It is uh, about 5.40 here in uh, Bomet, Kenya. We've just finished about a five-day medical mission trip. And now I'm getting ready to head to Nairobi. Got about a five-hour trip ahead of me. Uh, the rest of the team is headed out for a safari. But I'm headed to Kenya to play a little golf. I've had these guys in the corner all week. And now it's time to uh, head into Nairobi and check out the Windsor Club Golf Hotel and Course. Our uh, method of transportation today is going to be a little interesting. We're riding the box truck back into Nairobi. Uh, this is the truck that carries all the uh, gear for the rest of the team. So hopefully it'll be an uh, uneventful trip. We'll see. Kind of a chaotic tea time this morning, kind of fluid. I'm told 250 to the water. My caddy Samson, I'm 250 to the water. I just wanted to get it out there somewhere. <laughs> I was afraid they're gonna give us yardage in meters. I'm glad it's in yards. It's too early in the morning to do math. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't know how far a meter is, sir. Right, we got one about 155. I have this big tree in my way. You mean to go? Okay. See if I can. Draw right there. Not the best uh, location. Oh, turnover. A little too good of a tee shot. Block myself out here. No worries. I'll just say here, Hakuna Matata. Learning in Kenya to trust your caddy. Yeah.
It is really nice to have a caddy find your ball in the woods. I can get used to this. Fortunately, I don't hit the ball in the woods that often. 215 to the pin. Okay. Right in your wheelhouse. Pretty good. Good luck. Over there. There's a bunker somewhere over there near uh, Mombasa. Yeah, in between it. Yeah. Okay. He thinks he can whip me, but he can't. <laughs> we'll see on the scorecard. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to hit this almost OB. Not quite, but pretty dang gum close. I guess this is the this is the Nairobi version of the road hole. The flag is just straight over the trees? Yeah, it's over the trees, yeah. Okay. So we are about like uh, 135. 135? Okay. Uh, right, 135, this is number 10. Pigeon wedge over that little uh, group of trees. After a terrible drop. Knock on the drink. A little bit. Ball shot straight up in the air. Oh, what a shot! What, what a, a shot! shot man. Oh, you, 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 you! Perfect. <laughs> Can't beat me. Man, baby. <laughs> you, you, you bagged it up like a foot out of the bunker. That's impressive. <laughs> This is about as hard as I can hit a putt right there. All right, now can you uh, can you make it on your bunker and make that putt? Yes, I can. Oh, oh, oh. oh stinger, stinger! Show you how to do it. Yes. Nice. Still got the uh, penalty for the bunker uh, for the road in the bunker, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if we can't go visit our little friend the monkey. Kyle gave him an apple. Both ways. Turn, turn. Oh, I wanted to. Nice, nice baby. Kill. Sometimes you forget him, Kenny, you're at about 5,000 feet, so. Make him be huffing and puffing on this video a little bit. I mean, I am out of shape, but not that out of shape. Hole we just finished was number 14. The hardest, hold, hardest hole on the course. Yeah. That's what he just told me. You said that earlier about a hole. I know. <laughs> We've had a couple easiest holes and a couple hardest holes. Like, I see why you said uh, stay left. Yes, <laughs> you see. Yeah. The way ball is kicking. Any hard this way. Mm -hmm. how, how far out are we? Then? We are about to. I mean, fifty-five. Okay, I'm gonna try to. 
That is not what was supposed to happen. Got greedy. Mm -hmm. Got greedy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look out. Stop. It's okay. Sometimes when you get greedy, you got to pay the pay the price. At least I have the excuse. This is the hardest hole in the course. How many yards do you think this is? For me, I would say we go like uh, 65. 65? Okay. I'm gonna get a good shot. Yeah. Cool. Little, uh, maybe left, the left edge? Just play left, yeah. Left edge? Okay. Left edge is sound good. Number 18, this is... Not my full check. Yeah. Okay. okay. Starts left, just didn't finish there. What do we have here yardage wise? Although, but uh, 140. Okay. Yeah, 114. 114? 140. 140. I gotcha. Yeah, 140. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's dry. Oh sweet. Wish I could say that was all skill, but it was a uh, give it a luck on that one. No crocodiles, right? I'm good. No crocodiles? No. <laughs> no crocodiles. Only fish. Only fish. Well, I can deal with fish. Yes. What a great finish. What a great finish. No part of getting. No. Oh. Ooh, that's a great fishing finish. That's a great finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should put it in the hole. We didn't, uh, nice. we didn't get the ball going in, but we'll show the result. That's how, you, that's how you make a birdie. Yep. All right, I just finished my round here at the Windsor. Uh, got up early this morning around seven, and we played fast. We played, uh, we walked 18 holes in about three hours. What I'll remember most about this uh, experience is the caddies. Oh, what a golf shot. What a shot. They were phenomenal. My uh, caddy Sampson uh, has been here since the course opened in 1992. Uh, he himself was about a seven uh, handicap, very knowledgeable, 
Uh, there were several times in which uh, I pulled the wrong club. He handed me a different club and uh, he was right every single time. The greens, they're bumpy. Is this the best course I've ever played? No. It's a decent course. It's a good course. It is uh, a little tight in some places, but overall it's a quality course, especially when you consider where we are. I mean, here in Nairobi, Kenya, the uh, guys I played with, Chad and Kyle, were on the mission trip with me. Uh, we all had a good time. I enjoyed having the caddies. It is really nice to uh, have uh, someone go find your ball, guide you around the course, tell you where to aim, especially one, especially someone with uh, so much knowledge. So, you know, if you're ever in uh, or coming through Nairobi and you've got a long layover, you've got some time, uh, yeah, I'd recommend playing the Windsor. I'd also recommend staying here. You know, this is uh, one of the best hotels in Kenya. It's a five-star hotel. I think it, uh, it's cost me about 130 bucks a night. Uh, the golf, um, roughly about, mm, if you stay at the hotel, it's about 5,000 Kenyan shillings, which eh, a little under $60 for a round. Uh, you pay the caddy directly, so I gave him 20 bucks and a sleeve of Pro-V ones. So, and he seemed pretty happy with that. So, um, again, not the greatest course I've ever played, but a good, good course, good layout. Um, it looks flat initially, but it's not. It uh, a lot of a lot of hills to walk, um, but it is a uh, it's a good experience, one that I'll remember. And uh, if, uh, when I'm back in Kenya, I'm going to try to play this one again, or maybe go try some others. We'll see.